Hello students, this is Chef Ram Gopal and today we will discuss about the effect of heat on cooking. This is the second part of the chapter. Last time we have discussed about the effect of heat on proteins. So uh, that's the aim of cooking as um, I have already discussed in the last chapter. Uh, whenever we are cooking the food, it goes into some of the physical and chemical changes and uh, whenever we are cooking it, it's supposed to be acceptable by the humans right uh, uh, objectives like uh, whenever you are cooking the food need to be you know uh, the cooked food need to be absorbed by the digestive system and then it gives some of the you know nutritional value to your food this thing is already discussed in uh, the part one so and uh, last time we have discussed about the effect of heat on protein which is uh, like whenever you are cooking the any of the protein product or uh, you are cooking the proteins uh, you understand this just by an example of uh, egg whenever you are giving the heat to any of the egg what will happen uh, in the initial stage the egg is in the liquid form slowly and gradually as you are giving heat to it it start coagulating so whenever you are giving heat to any of the protein product it start coagulated and turn into a thick mass right but if you give intense heat to any of the protein product what will happen protein will get denatured right and then it uh, will become like a irritable substance for the stomach right so that's uh, just the recap of last chapter today we gonna discuss effect of heat on carbohydrates and fats right so let's start carbohydrates are like they are the one of the food product which are generally are of three types carbs are divided into three category one is called mono monosaccharide then disaccharide and then polysaccharide monosaccharides are simple molecular structure of uh, any carbohydrate product like uh, one of the best example is glucose c12 h22 o11 is the chemical formula for it so that's the sim uh, monosaccharide very simple form of carbohydrates what will happen as you dissolve in the water it will get dissolved easily right uh, when if you talk about the second um, part called the disaccharide disaccharide means two molecules of sugar are combined together uh, those are called the disaccharides and then polysaccharides are complex molecular structure of the carbohydrates or uh, when too many uh, sugar molecules too many monosaccharides are combined together those are called the uh, polysaccharide one of the very simple form is starch so starch is one of the thing which is you know greatly affected by heat mm, it is first converted into a soluble form and then if you are giving extreme heat to it it uh, turns down to one of the new substances which is called dextrin which is sweet in flavor as you know uh, you can see the crust of the breads or caramelization or uh, this is also called maillard reaction right whenever you are giving intense heat to any of the sweet product or uh, sugar it will turn into a brownish substance which is called dextrin right so crust of the bread is one of the very best example for it then uh, uh, if you talk about carbohydrates cellulose are also one type of carbohydrates but cellulose are the kind of thing they are not soluble but yes they are affected by heat so how uh, as you giving heat to it by the application of heat moist heat what will happen they will start wilted right or soften right uh, cellulose it is softened by the application of moist heat as you see in the picture in the first picture this is the you know uh, leaves of a small spinach right and as you giving heat to it what will happen these are get wilted and then these are easily digestible by a human body we can digest the you know uncooked spinach as well but it takes time because the body first converted into a simple molecular form and then it get digest but uh, when you cook any of the cellulose product any of the plant product uh, what will happen uh, by the application of heat it will uh, you know get soft and then you can easily digest it right then uh, uh, obviously sugar sugar is one of the very common form very simple molecular structure of carbohydrate uh, as you heat it uh, it get dissolved in uh, water right and uh, 
you know you can add any kind of color to it right and like uh, you can prepare candy out of it or any form of sugar right if but if you are further heating what will happen it will turn into a brown color known as caramel and caramel is also used in very many different products right uh, but if you are giving extra heat to any of the sugar product what will happen after the caramel stage it will come into a stage which is called black jack and which is not an edible substance it's very dangerous right so you are not supposed to cook any of the food product which is um, come down to a black jack stage right so these are the three different combinations of uh, carbohydrates called the monosaccharide disaccharide and polysaccharide and uh, which is useful in day to day life you need to understand the chemistry of it right that's about the uh, carbs next is the effect of heat on fat now fat means the oil ghee butter right these are the kinds of fat we, which we are using day to day life so what will happen if fat heated to a very high degree it will undergo a partial decomposition into fatty acid and glycerol right but if you you know the glycerol further decomposes uh, decomposes into kerlin uh, which is a kind of a irritating compound for the digestive system right so that's why it is not as advisable to, uh, to use the used oil again right used oils are not usable again it is better to be avoided for further use because once you heat the oil it is already decomposed into two uh, uh, you know divided into two uh, different uh, molecular structure called the fatty acid and the glycerols but then if you are giving again heating it up obviously it will create one uh, irritating substance for your digestive system which is not good for it and uh, you know you can have a very dangerous health problems right uh so that's the effect of heat on oils uh if i talk about vitamins and minerals minerals are generally not affected by the heat but uh, uh, yes some of the water soluble vitamins they are affected by intense heat but not by the moderate heat right so that's about the effect of heat on cooking for protein carbohydrates and fats uh, i have also uh, discussed little bit about vitamins and minerals so that's it about the chapter if you have any questions you can always uh, contact me till that time thank you very much have a nice day stay safe stay healthy